creamy caramelized leek sauce. It's really popular at Petit Pasta Joint. It's lemony, it's garlicky, it's um, kind of an, like, I would say, you know, our take on an a la mone. Exactly, yeah. so I'm going to take this dough. Of course we would use this at Raffetto's and cut it on our 100-year-old guillotine machine, but I'm actually just gonna chop it by hand while Emily gets the leeks going. Yes, okay. while Sarah's chopping up the pasta. We are gonna slice the leek. Leeks are kind of a dirty uh, vegetable, so I'm gonna slice in half and then thinly slice the leek and kind of rinse it off so we are getting all the grit and dirt out. Yes, and this is extremely old school. You can definitely use a KitchenAid piece or like we would just use our machine, but like a, a little old Italian grandma, I'm just gonna get in there with a knife. All right, so I got the leeks chopped up. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a quick rinse just in case. Yes, if there's any not. leftover dirt. And then they're gonna go in the skillet and caramelize. Low and slow is the name of the game, but Sarah and I have been known to speed things up and just crank the heat. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we're always on a time crunch in the kitchen. And then while Emily gets those leeks going, I'm going to check the water here, make sure that it's at a rapid boil because if you drop it in too soon, it is not ready. And Always salt the water. I can't stress that yes, enough. Yes. Don't so do a cool. tiny sprinkle. No. I do a small palm full. Yeah. Thank you. Um, actually, at Raffetto's, we have an ice cream soup. Yes. Soup. <laughs> exactly. Just to emphasize how much salt you really need. So yeah. get in there with the salt and drop. When it's fresh pasta, two to three minutes. Yeah. Very quick. But then when it's a dry pasta, it could be anywhere from six up to 10 or 11 minutes, depending but on the firmness. But you should always firmness. pull it, it one minute before the directions Correct. because you don't want to overcook the pasta and you need to marry the pasta to the sauce. So you have to add a little of that salty water. 100%, mm. nothing is worse than um, overcooked pasta. Let's get our sauce going. Yes, so we're gonna pour the cream in. We love cream. I know. <laughs> Apparently they do too. Yes. yes. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Is right. your garlic grated in yes. yet or too yeah. soon? Not too soon because we actually don't like it to cook. Gotcha. So we'll get that in there. The raw garlic gives it this like sharp bite that cooked garlic, you know, cooked garlic mell mellows out a little bit. Gotcha. So we love Great. that. We'll get the lemon juice and the zest going. Gotcha. Great. Do the same thing here. I love nice. that. Be careful not to grate your fingers into yes. the... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the fear. Exactly. Perfect. All right. That Cut looks side up so the seeds that. don't stick with the pasta. They stay with the lemon. Love that. Sarah, should we try it? Let's pull a noodle and yes, see yes, what yes. they taste like. Exactly. Is it is it ready? I'll Let's take a see. green one for, you know, balance. Very close. I'd say another like 30 seconds. Mmm. <laughs> nice and salty though. Yes. All right. Um, this is very on brand with how we do things at Petit Pasta Joint. Mm -hmm. Taste. See what it tastes like. Sarah and I are very intuitive cooks. Always be scared of people that won't eat their own food, man. Yes, absolutely. If you don't see whoever's cooking for you, check their food. I would say the pasta's good check now. Check out. Great. <laughs> We're gonna pull it, and I love using tongs. First of all, less dirty items in the kitchen's always welcome. And also, we want a little bit of that residual pasta water to get in the sauce. It is always, a cream-based sauce. Always. And especially with the creamy sauces, mm -hmm. they run the risk of congealing by the time they hit the table. You want it nice and like, Almost where you think it's a little too runny, because then by the time it hits the table, cools down a little bit, it will be perfect. All right. I think I've got most. Yeah. There's gonna be some, there's always some goners. I know. We have to sacrifice some pasta usually. <laughs> but this is looking really delicious. You want the tongs? Gorgeous. Yes. I'm gonna you. bring you down Get some that. bowls, girls. Yeah. Yes. Ladies. That looks perfect. Woo. Light one up here so they can see your chadas. Yeah. And then we love to finish it with a little bit of extra lemon zest. Ooh, see, oh. noodles are so long. Extra long noodles. I know, that's what happens sometimes. I'm that's what microfiber cloths are for, right? Yeah. Clean it up a little bit at the end. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little sauce going yeah. on top. A little extra sauce. Always. Perfect. Always welcome. Delightful. And a little extra zest, you said? Yes. yes. Beautiful. Good luck. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah.